And now to the State House shakeup. House Democrats held an emergency caucus today to name a new House Finance Committee chair following the resignation of longtime State Representative Raymond Gallison. We first broke the story last night on WPRI.com. Gallison refused to answer questions from Target 12 investigator Tim White earlier today following news of his resignation as he faces a law enforcement investigation that partly relates to prostitution. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell has been tracking the developments all day long. He joins us live from the State House now with more. The resignation letter from Ray Gallison was sent to the House Speaker today, and the House Speaker responded with a closed-door Democratic caucus naming his successor atop of the House Finance Committee. Have you been uh, interviewed by law enforcement? You have to talk to my attorney. The former representative Ray Gallison goes from leading hearings on the state budget to being the focus of a police investigation. I understand the frustration. You should be frustrated. I'm frustrated. Gallison sent House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello this one sentence resignation letter citing personal reasons for his stepping down. Mattiello met with him on Sunday. I purposefully did not get into a lot of specific detail because quite frankly I don't want to know the detail. Uh, that's for the authorities to know and that's the appropriate individuals to know that. The man who is taking Gallison's spot as chairman of the House Finance Committee is Marvin Abney. The representative for Newport and Middletown is a retired major of the U.S. Army. What can uh, the committee expect from your leadership going forward? Having a meeting that's concise, that's businesslike, that allows people to, uh, you know, to testify, say what they need to say, question to get asked. Uh, not a whole bunch of editorializing. I'm a stickler. Welcome to the uh, House Committee on Finance. Only Eyewitness News was there as Abney led his first House Finance Committee hearing just hours after being appointed. I have absolute respect for him. The day he walked into this room, he was a natural leader. Gallison has not been charged with any crime. His seat will remain vacant until November's election. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News. Many wondering about the impact Gallison's resignation could have on the political scene and the state's budget. Gallison was at the head of the Finance Committee, which works on the budget and presents it to the full House. Now, lawmakers have been finalizing the numbers this week to get the spending plan finished. Now we're hearing from members of the House Finance Committee about his resignation. I was angry. I was disgusted and honestly saddened for the people of Rhode Island. They deserve better government. And please stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the latest State House shakeup on air and online. Our coverage continues on Eyewitness News at 11 over on WPRI 12 and on Eyewitness News this morning at 430. You can also read more about this story at WPRI.com. That's where you can also see a timeline of disgraced former lawmakers.